Hi guys, welcome back to um, the next marriage tutorial. This is the second part, and um, yeah, so you, um, if you haven't watched the first part yet, I would strongly recommend you do so because we, well, we, um, well, you'll need to because otherwise you won't understand what we've been doing. Um, but I'm just going to show you what we're going to try and aim to complete by the end of this uh, tutorial. So um, we're going to make Mario jump like this and we're going to put in the um, ground sprites and we might also put these screens in so you can't see the uh, the edge of the screen because if you, actually if you don't have this um, if I just hide this hang on um, you you can't it the um, the the objects get stuck at the edge of the screen here so um, they're not it doesn't look that good so yeah we're just gonna we might put that in but I don't know at the moment anyway so you will want to go to your uh, scratch um, project and um, you should have this code already this is from the last um, tutorial and well first of all we're going to actually go into GIMP and um, you should have your Mario sprite sheet that you got off the internet um, and so yeah you need to find this block here it's like um hang on i'll zoom out so you can see um it's like down here just here this is the one we're going to use for the ground i mean you can if you want like use that or that um but i'm just going to use this because it's easier well i think it's the probably the best one to use um and you just want to zoom in. Um, if you've got a mouse, you can hold control and use the um, scroller to um, zoom in and out. Um, now you want to you want to go on the select tool and select it and make sure its size is 32 by 32. Then press control C and then you want to create a, a new a new image and um, and you want to make it the width. Uh, doing this off the top of my head, I think it's the width is 480 and the height is 360. I think that's right. That's the um, height of the of the canvas in Scratch. And um, what you're basically going to want to do is paste these. Um, get this move tool here and paste these um, blocks onto the canvas um, if you just zoom in again you can see it and you just want to paste these all along now this can take a while but you just want to keep doing this and moving them along um, and yeah once you've done that go back into scratch and import it I'm gonna cut out the video because this might take a while well it won't it won't take ages just you know got that much to do okay um, so once you've copied and pasted them all along there um, save it and then um, put it back and we'll import into scratch so go into your scratch and um, you want to choose new, new sprite from file and um, you want to choose this ground your ground um, the ground uh, image and um, this should should be something like this it should look something like this uh, just like that and um, yeah I did this earlier I didn't um, I didn't do all this anyway um, let's uh, we've got that now we just need to get rid of the uh, white background so just um, fill with the transparent color here so um, it's transparent and you can see through it um, okay and so now we've got that you want to name this ground zero um, if you don't really get what I'm doing here this um, it, it, I would advise you to watch my scrolling tutorial um, and that really goes over how to make a scrolling game and we're just putting this in for the Mario game and basically um, what you want to do is just put in this when the green flag is clipped and we're just gonna set y to zero just so it goes um, into the like center y ways if you see what I mean and go into control and put in a forever loop and then put in an if and an else 
Okay, and what you want to do is test whether um, scroll X. Uh, hang on, scroll. Yeah, scroll X is m more. Uh, I really hate it. It does that. Anyway, um, so you want to test if scroll X is more than zero. So um, basically, what that means. If scroll X is like a positive number, you see, because normally, um, if you look at this scroll X, as you go right, it gets smaller and smaller, and as you go left, it gets bigger and bigger until it's positive. And we don't want it to be positive because it's po if it's positive, the grounds will the ground will like go over to the right too much, and we'll have big white space over here. So um, we just want to set scroll X to zero if that happens. And if you see now. Um, we can't go beyond zero here. Um, so the ground doesn't move that way. Okay. And so if this is if scroll X is like more, a positive number and we don't want it to be. If it's not then we can move the um we can move the ground. So you just wanna do you'll you'll understand this how this works if you watch my other tutorial. Um, I might put an annotation at the top of the screen so you can go to that video if you haven't watched it already. Um, and you just want to set scroll x to, or set, set x to scroll x plus, um, hang on, 480 times 0. Um, like that. Okay. Now, um, the ground will move now which will be quite good. Now we just need to put in more ground sprites, so we'll just du duplicate these. Duplicate. Um, you can have them as long as you want um, and just name this ground 1 and this one ground 2. Okay, and then just set this to 1. Again, you'll you'll understand this if you watch my scrolling tutorial. Um, so yeah. Okay. And if you just run this, you can see it scrolls now, which is quite good. Okay, now we just need to sort out Mario. Um, so for Mario, um, we need to make sure he comes down here. So to start with, we actually want to set y to minus 133, three, because that's like, that's about there. It might be different um, for yours. Just just mess around, move, move around and see what see what you want um but yeah and i think we can still jump hang on we can jump but he doesn't stop and we need to sort out our costume as well um here here it is it, it, in this where you've got your testing for the left arrow and right arrow put get an if and an else statement and um you want to put if uh, variables um, if uh, hang on if on ground equals zero remember this, this is the variable we're going to use to determine whether Mario is on the ground or not, if it's zero then Mario is off the ground, if it's one Mario is on the ground, it's like a true or false thing You'll understand this better if you do programming, just saying. Um, programming is very useful. It helps you understand Scratch a lot better. Um, but anyway, um, we need to swi then switch to the, the jump costume. And else we can put all this in the else part. And then just put that into your bit there. Right. So that will just short sort out the costumes. Uh, there we go. So yeah, you can see it jumps now. And um, finally, we just we just need to um, we just need to uh, put in another. Let's just put this at the bottom. So you can see this is getting quite a long script, but um, anyways, okay. And we basically want to test whether Mario is touching any of the ground sprites and if he is then set on the ground to one so uh, you're probably going to know what's coming next but yeah we're going to have to put in a lot of or um, or values so get in an if and an else 
and just get how however many um grounds you have. I have three here. Just you need three of these to put in here. So um we're gonna have one, two, three and um <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Um if touching touching ground zero or there we go. This is quite annoying. This is um one of the reasons I would advise you to use like a programming language to make a Mario game, but it's a lot I mean I don't know. I mean using Scratch to make things is quite good because it's quite easy. <laughs> um but you know, um programming sums a bit better, so um we just want to set on ground to zero to one even here. One. And if not if if it's not touching these, I it's in the air, we wanna set on ground to zero. Okay. So, um now Mario can um jump like this. And yeah, that is that is what we want. And um if we just go actually you know what we'll set at the start we will set scroll we will set scroll X to zero just so Mario starts at the beginning and also um, we'll point Mario in direction 90 so I'll make him face the right so now we can do the scrolling movement which is quite good and finally I think we'll put in the um, screen so um, let's just paint a new sprite um, zoom all the way out remember to do that, that's very important and just make it white and you just want to draw draw two rectangles either side it doesn't, you, they don't really need to be perfect I mean if you want to make them exactly then you might want to use GIMP or something to do them but anyway just, just do it about there and do the same on the other side um, oh. Um, you just, here we go, um, if you don't get, like, everything in, then you can just draw up like this, okay, and press OK, and so now you can't see the edge, the edge of the screen, like here, um, so, yeah, that is actually basically it, that's basically what we wanted to do this tutorial, and hope, yeah, I'm, I haven't run over time, which is good. Oh, and by the way, these variables, you know, I can't see them, you just want, may, might want to move them over a bit, just so you can see them. It's quite useful if you're debugging, um, to have, see what the variable values are. Um, so, yeah, that is basically it. I, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, I hope you're enjoying this series. Uh, next tutorial, we'll probably put in some, um, like, enemies or something, and maybe an item block or something like that. Um... So yeah, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed and yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.